Hey, Kaden. Yes, mommy. It's time for the She's About Business show. Yes. (laughs) You know, God knew who he was creating when he created me. And the same is true for you. We must persevere. Now, faith to me is the most vital part of our strengthening process. We must believe in the process. We must believe in our ability to complete the process. And we must believe in the one who orchestrates the process. I hate to break it to you, but we're all called to help and inspire someone. If you have children, guess what? They're watching you. If you have family members or friends, guess what? They're watching you. (laughs) And they are either going to be inspired to fail or succeed. Hey there, this is Diathea Garns, the Impact Coach, and you are listening to the She's About Business show where we are impacting lives and inspiring change. Let's get started with the show. Hey, hey, it's your host, Diathea Garns. I'm so excited to be moving along steadily with the show. You know, most people might not realize just how much work goes into putting the show together week after week. I've heard of so many podcasters who get burned out and give up. So thanks to all of you who are listening in and who are continually giving their support. Shout out to A Moy's Mag on Instagram. I think I'm saying that right. Um, It's spelled A-M-O-I-Z-E-M-A-G. Um, Amoy's Mag sent me a quick comment on Instagram saying, love your show. Please don't get tired. (laughs) Thanks so much for acknowledging that it is very easy to get tired. And that's why I'm so glad week after week that God continues to give me inspiration and topic ideas for the show. Shout out, honor and glory to God for that. (laughs) So yesterday, I celebrated the launch of the She's About Business book series with some amazing family and friends, and I'm still in awe of the amazing things that God is doing so far. So as of right now, there are five books, okay, and I was just so blessed to be able to you know, just have the ability and the energy to write those books and get them all done. Um, And I plan to continue to write more as I'm led to do so. So basically what it is, is the She's About Business book series is basically just going to be various books under the She's About Business title. So you can say, you know, different series or different books with different topics, basically. And I'm going to just continue to add to that collection. So right now, again, there are five books. Book one is for the woman who is about the business of entrepreneurship. And it is called Simple Strategies for Winning at Starting and Growing Your Business and Living Your Best Life. Book two is for the woman that's about the business of improving her faith. And that book is the She's About Business 30 Day Devotional Journal. That I l- absolutely love that book. Book three is for the woman about the business of finding peace during her period of singleness. And it's called Single, Saved, and Healed for the woman preparing for godly marriage while embracing her season of singleness. And book four is for the woman about the business of writing that book. And it's called How to Write, Publish, and Sell a Book in 12 Steps and Brand Yourself as an Expert. Love that one. And then book five is very special to me, very personal. It's for the woman about the business of forgiveness. And it's called Healing from Broken Relationships Through Faith and Forgiveness. And I share personal stories throughout each of those books, but that one in particular is very personal. So right now, those are the five books that are in the She's About Business book series right now. All of them are very special to me. Um, And of course, you know, all of them are dedicated to the same purpose, which is to help women around the world live their very best life. 
you can visit DaithiaGarns.com. She's about business.com. Or you can go to Amazon to find those books. Yay. <laughs> and this is episode 23 of the She's About Business show, aka the Stab Show. Again, thanks to all of my fabulous sisters and fabulous fellas for tuning in and for supporting the show on the various platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, iTunes, Podomatic, TuneIn, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and of course, YouTube. Also, don't forget that you can get even more uplifting content on Binge Network. Just look for the She's About Business channel and start watching today. If you are an Alexa user, you can listen to the show. Just say play the SAB show to enjoy that convenient option. And as always, stay tuned for other great updates. Our topic for this episode is, is it ever healthy to be selfish? Hmm. Now, I'm going to keep this episode short and sweet this week. Well, even shorter than usual. (laughs) I'm going to try anyway. You guys know I can ramble on sometimes, but I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet because I'm actually pretty tired from working so hard and writing all those books and (laughs) from the celebration yesterday, but also because the topic really gives me a bit of a heavy heart, okay? I'm just being honest, and only because I really hate that I have had to finally accept the fact that, in my opinion, there is a time when it is absolutely healthy and necessary for us to be selfish. For me, putting others before myself has been almost like a trademark. (laughs) It definitely has its benefits. You know, it makes me a good mom, you know, a better mom, the best mom that I can be. It makes me a good friend because those who are close to me know that they can count on me, you know, and I love being dependable and reliable and just being there for people. But for those of you who are like this as well, the question arises. Who is it that we can call on to be dependable and reliable for us? You know, it's great to be dependable and reliable for our children. I think that's a must. You know, I don't think that it happens as often where we need to be selfish when it comes to our children. I I definitely find myself, you know, being okay with putting my children before me, but I realized lately that. I have taken this whole putting others before myself to the extreme in other areas of my life. I was recently, you know, just talking to God about this and I was just explaining to him, a.k.a. complaining, probably, (laughs) you know, I was just talking with him. And it's like people sometimes don't even act like they see me as a regular person. It's like the more I give, the more they take, almost as if. To say it's okay, you know, she can take it. It's D, she can take it. And if I ever have the audacity to say no or say I can't or simply say enough is enough, you know, it's like the worst thing in the world. And people become so upset, right? So I'm going on and on to God about this issue. And this is the response that I felt from him in my spirit. If you act like Superwoman long enough, everyone is going to expect you to always wear that cape. Wow. That really hit me. And I sat for a moment and I thought about that. But, you know, I think that's 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 true. I mean, of course, you know, I I feel like that came from God. And if you try to continually be everything to everyone and you're always trying to be kind and loving to everyone, even when you need to put your foot down and you're constantly helping people who don't want to help themselves or you're constantly helping people who don't help you out in the same way, right? Of course, the minute you stop, the minute you take off that cape and say, I can't do this anymore or I've had enough. Of course, those who are used to you being passive or used to you being the lamb When it was actually time for you to be the lion, (laughs) of course, they're going to protest. Of course, they're going to push back. Of course, they're going to be upset. 
and they will act as if you have done something wrong or as if you have let them down, right? Even though they've let you down a million times or they continually took from you and just took and took and took, they will usually either become really angry and blame you or they'll become the victim and blame you. (laughs) But either way, they're going to blame you. And I've come to the realization that especially when you are a helper of people, right? So you're someone who is in the business of human services, like coaching, counseling, ministering, which I do all three. (laughs) But those of us who have to be in tune with the plights of others in order to, you know, really kind of get in tune with the various ways that we can help them. When you're one of these people, you absolutely have to be selfish sometimes. And I think this also goes for, you know, just about all of us, anyone, mothers, friends, you know, just about every title that you can have, you know, that can cause you to feel depleted when you're constantly giving of yourself more so than you're getting back. Being selfish is necessary and healthy. Why do I think so? Because when you're constantly pouring from your cup, the only way to replenish your cup and refill your cup is to be selfish with you, is to take time for you. The more selfish and nurturing that you are with yourself, the more it creates a positive byproduct for those that you're called to serve and the work that you do, your work, your mental capacity, your mental health, all will be better and more powerful, more impactful and healthier when you are selfish enough to say no, you know, to say no, do it yourself. I can't do it to say, I'm sorry, but I've had enough, you know, to say, you know, I'm no longer accepting the way that you're treating me because I deserve better. To say, I can see that you're taking advantage of me and I'm done with that, right? And the point is not to be selfish so that you're not able or willing to help others. The point is to give to yourself as a priority so that you will have more and a better quality to give to others. To be honest, you should never give to others what you are not first willing to give to yourself. Oh my goodness, it makes sense, right? But a lot of times we just don't do it and it's nonsense. Recently, I actually realized that I had missed a very important appointment. Even though I had made that same appointment for other people (laughs) and actually assisted them with getting to the appointment. (laughs) But I forgot about my appointment. That's crazy, right? And the truth is with some people, the more you give, the more they will let you give. The more you do, the less they do, right? The more you give, the more they expect you to give, right? And it's like when you are depleted and there's nothing that, you know, they can offer you, right? Where do you go? Where do you go? The more you give, the more they just expect you to shut up about it. And you better not get tired either. (laughs) You know, you just got to keep giving and keep giving. The more you become depleted, fed up, worn out, tired, overwhelmed, fed up. They often show you that you're no longer useful to them. You know, if you can't keep up the pace, if you can't keep giving what you're given, they really have no use for you. You no longer benefit them and they move on to the next person that's going to give and give and give to them. So I think that it's very important that we, you know, just get clear on the fact that we need to take care of ourselves. I believe that that was absolutely God speaking to me. You can't go around acting like Superwoman all the time, you know. Because nobody ever wants you to to go into that, you know, Clark Kent mode, right, where you actually want to just take off your cape and just be regular and you just want to, you know, relax and maybe let somebody be your superwoman or your superman sometimes. Right. People are not going to easily allow you to do that because you've been doing it for so 
long and they've come to expect it. But the bottom line is that you are the most valuable resource in your life, your most priceless, irreplaceable tool to not only live your very best life, but to also help as many other people as possible to live theirs, right? How can you help other people in your life when you're worn out, when you're broke down? The only way for you to really be effective long term at whatever your goals are in life. I believe that we're all in some kind of way in the business of helping other people. I just think that that's how we were created. That's how this whole system works. So how can you be effective long term at being a positive influence to your community, to your world, you know, being a positive influence on the people around you if you are not taking care of yourself? And this is especially true for mothers and parents and, you know, those who really, really put their all into helping other people or you do it for a living or You know, people are constantly coming to you. You have to be selfish sometimes. I believe that it's very healthy indeed to be selfish with you. And you know what? You'll know when it's time to pull away. You'll know when it's time to get a little selfish. I don't think that we're supposed to walk in that all the time, but we all need breaks and we all need moments. And not only that, We all have to be very careful and pay close attention to the energy that we're around and the people that we have in our circle and the people who we give our energy to. Because to be honest, I believe that most often we're a direct reflection of the way we're treated within any particular relationship. If you have a friend or you have a a relationship where you feel like sometimes you act so out of character, you know, and you're not yourself, they take you there over and over and over again. It's probably because you are reflecting off of how they're treating you and the, the negative things that are actually happening in that relationship. And it can be really hard to get out of that, especially if it's someone you really care for. But I know for me, like I hate getting out of my character and I hate feeling that I'm pushed to a level where I'm not behaving the way that I know that God wants me to behave. So if I'm continually doing that, then that's telling me, okay, something's happening to me in this relationship that's not making me happy. Something's happening to me within this situation that's causing me to not be able to, you know, maintain my character and maintain the person that I am. And, you know, people will absolutely try to turn it around on you and they blame you and they point the finger at you. Um, But you have to pay close attention to that. When you know who you are and you know what your character is, but you find yourself always getting out of your character, then chances are you need to get out of the relationship. You need to get out of the situation because There's nothing that's going to stunt your growth as much as constantly being taken to a level where you're getting out of character and you're not even sure you start to question who you even are. That means you've been in that situation too long. You've been in that relationship too long. So in situations like that, it may be time to walk away and people may call you selfish. They may say, you know, bad things about you. They may be angry. But again, I think that it's absolutely sometimes very healthy to be selfish. And unfortunately, it doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter. You know, you can love people. It can be family. It can be friends. But, you know, people will people will put you in your grave. I mean, let's just be real. I I have to say it. I've seen people so stressed out by family, so stressed out by situations and they become ill and they get sick and. You know, if you pass away because of stress or you have a heart attack or your blood pressure is up, these people are going to go on and they're going to live their lives without you. Real talk. It's just the truth. So be selfish with yourself and don't be like me and learn the hard way. (laughs) 
because you're looking around and you see so many people pulling on you and pulling from you. And there's not nearly as many people replenishing you and putting back into you. But I tell you what, now that I have learned this, (laughs) there will be some changes made around these parts. okay? (laughs) and not everyone is going to like it. I can tell you that much, but all right, fabulous ones. That is the end of the show for this week. And if you are someone who is important to other people, which I know you are, if you're someone that others depend on, remember that you cannot allow yourself to be depleted. It's totally okay and totally healthy to be selfish sometimes with you. Okay, you got to, you got to take care of yourself. Thanks so much for all the support. And don't forget to leave a rating or review on the platform of your choice. I appreciate those of you who have taken the time to do that so far. So if you're listening on iTunes, Google Podcasts, TuneIn or Spotify, Podbean, Podomatic or any of the other platforms, please review and share the show. And if you are listening on YouTube on the She's About Business channel, please subscribe, share and like. And don't forget that I have amazing content on Binge Networks that you can't find anywhere else. So check it out and sign up there. All right. Until next time, let's work at being a little more selfish with our time, our heart and our energy, not in a negative way where we refuse to help other people, but in a loving way towards ourselves so that we are able to help others from a true place of generosity instead of out of some form of obligation and resentment. Okay, this may be a show that needs a part two because I feel there's so much more to say on this topic. (laughs) But remember also, guys, as always, we are on this journey together. I love you guys. The She's About Business show is directed and hosted by Dayukia Garns, digital editing by Will Rice at Pro Voice Gas Studios, and copyright by She's About Business Inc. Thanks so much for listening to the She's About Business show. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Also, if you think I'm doing a great job or you enjoy an episode, leave a review, rating, or comment. I love to hear from you. And don't forget to visit She'sAboutBusiness.com for amazing blog articles, events, and services. Love you guys. Let's be about business.